you everyone uh, for uh, listening to our show and thank you for everyone who's live on Instagram. Um, and if you heard our first po podcast, our introduction to our show, uh, this is brought to you by InnovoCollective.com and the show is called Let's Get Down to Business. And the reason of the show is to talk about entrepreneurship, uh, new businesses, you know, and how to start a new business and everything that comes with it. Uh, today, we have a uh, one of the persons that I know for a little bit, and he uh, his name is Ed Munji. Ed Munji, his family is part owners of an Italian restaurant in Garden City called Calaveros. Um, and uh, we also have our DJ, uh, Dion. Uh, he's on the sound system. And, uh, well, let's get down to business. Um, Ed, please tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, so uh, I'm 21 years old. I'm from Oceanside on, in Long Island. And like you said, my father's owned uh, his partner at an Italian restaurant in Garden City called Calajeros, which was founded in 2002 and still up and running today, to this day. Awesome. Um, so let's, uh, as I said, let's get down to business. And the first question that we have today for the show is, uh, the main question before we start talking about, you know, how to build your team or, you know, marketing, social media, it's actually is, should I open a business? And a lot of people that are listening to your show, they might have these questions in their mind and they, they probably have right now a secure job, a nine to five, and um, wanting to start or open a business comes with a lot of risk and also comes with a lot of rewards. But that's the main question. Should I open a business? Now, I believe that a lot of people, they're, they're different kind of people. And I don't think or I don't believe that everybody should open a business because it comes again with a lot of risk. Uh, what do you think about this? I completely agree with you. I mean, there is a lot of risk and you definitely do have to do your research on exactly what type of business you are opening. You know, there's others that are more successful uh, than others. So you definitely want to do your research on the market and how we're living in today's society and what the future growth is going to be for your business. And on top of that, you have to take into account your own passion for your business that you want to open. So here's, and here's one of the things, I, I've been an entrepreneur for a long time, since I was a little kid, I was uh, buying cell phones from people and then selling to other people and um, it was just a fun thing to do, I didn't know that that was mean entrepreneurship and that means, you know, uh, I just wanted to more, make more money that I, I already had and, uh, but you know, that was just as a little kid, as an adult, I've, I've been encountering several situations where I open a new business and it's, it's really hard because your time gets cut, um, your family time gets cut, like, uh, you know, you spend less time with your family, you spend less time doing the things that you like, like, um, you know, if you like snowboarding or, you know, anything, singing, anything that is your passion, you stop reducing it uh, because what you're busy on, on your business. Um, my parents also used to own uh, a business and probably it, it was really hard for, for us to have time as a family because of that business. Um, so I do believe that opening a business is a great thing to do and first of all because you help other people by you know giving uh, employment and etc etc but the main thing is passion and, and that's what I want to talk about. Passion if you want to open a business in this time and age, it's you need to be passionate about it, because a lot of people open a new business and they they get tired of it because it's really hard. It's you know you spend a lot of time, spend a lot of money. You're literally invested in the business. So if you're not passionate about it, you're gonna get bored, yeah, uh, or you just you know you're not gonna finish what you have to do, uh, and you're just gonna lose time, lose you know lose time, lose money, etc, etc. Um, this one, uh, one person who, uh, it's one of my favorite stories and his name is Elon Musk and I know a lot of people probably heard about him. Um, he's uh, the owner of Tesla and uh, I mean it's, it's an incredible story and, and you know Ed knows a little bit about it and if you want to share with us. Yeah, Elon Musk, he does, he has an incredible story, you know. 
it's not just uh, Tesla, it's also SpaceX and Solar City, Hyperloop, and tons of other companies that he started and founded, and some even you know last year and last couple of years. But definitely SpaceX and Tesla are his most popular, well-known companies. And he's definitely had a great story, you know, coming from South Africa, going to Canada, and then coming to the U.S. and growing his companies to what they've come today. You know, it all started with X.com, with which I'm not sure if everyone knows, which he founded and later turned out to be PayPal, which he sold later on. It, he, the, his story is incredible, but one of the things that I, I've, I've read about him, and you know, he had a, a, an interview, and he actually said it several times, is that even he was a billionaire, uh, he had to use, he had to invest all his money that he has and, and put it into the company. And he got to a point that he had to uh, borrow money from his friends and family to be able to pay rent. And that's just an incredible story because he worked so hard for what he has right now, but he did it with passion. He was not interested. Uh, I mean, I, I believe everybody's interested in money, but his main thing, he wanted just to make his dream come true. And it's just like it's so incredible that story for me because I've had those tough times, you know, when you have to pay rent and you have to do this and you have to do that. And you don't know, it gets to a point like, should I just quit my, my dream? Should I just keep quit my, my company? Because, you know, I don't know. It's, for me, what it makes me keep going is the fact that I, I love what I do, you know? Uh, and yes, sometimes you have a bad, bad situations or family situations, but you keep going and, and you keep going thinking out of the box, trying to figure out how to make more money to be able to pay rent, to be able to, you know, afford transportation and to afford uh, food. Um, but, you know, Elon Musk is one of my favorite stories. I mean, I know that there's tons of stories from small businesses to big businesses, but he, his story is one of the ones that, you know, really impacted my life. Um, so, but, you know, as we are uh, talking about this, there's tons of challenges that comes with opening a new business. And if you're trying, or if you're looking to open a new business, uh, what are, if, you, if you can tell us that, what, what do you think is that it's going on right now? Like what are the kind of challenges that people can get or the type of uh, challenges that you, your dad is facing right now with the restaurant? I would say, uh, you know, having opened that restaurant back in 2002, uh, we had one major renovation, which was in 2012, and you know, now it's 2018. So it's been quite a few years. And I would say the biggest problem is definitely adapting to the world we live in today, which is social media and trendier places. You know, it isn't how it used to be where people kind of just went to their own favorite restaurant, tried new places. Now it's, let me go on Yelp. Let me go on Google reviews. Oh, let me see which places have the highest ratings. You know, what's their stars? And it hurts a lot of businesses and restaurants. And, you know, we've been lucky enough to survive all these years and we're doing well. But there's definitely a lot of adapting that has to be done right now so that we can get ahead of the curve before we're left stomped on the ground by other major corporations or new restaurants that try to take over in our location. So it's funny you tell me that, um, you know, we, Innovo Collect, Innovo Studio, um, we as an agency, we build websites for customers. And it's so funny because we have several customers, uh, specifically writers and artists, they come and they have their agencies. And in the old times, uh, they even tell me like the old times, the, the agency used to bring them to these, uh, you know, uh, events and bring them to the, to the uh, bookstores and have readings and, and they would do all the social media for them and their websites and everything. Right now, they have cut, cut the cost so bad that they have to do it themselves. So these artists, as uh, book writers, they come and they ask us to build their websites, but they don't know anything about social media. They don't know how to impact their readers. They don't know how to have a contact, uh, con uh, constant um, contact with them, what to say, how to do it. Um, and as you said, in the restaurant industry, the same thing, people, if, if they come to your restaurant, they, they sit down and I've seen so many places where they, you see all the people taking pictures of the Insta in the Instagram or 
they uh, you know they do stories or stuff like that and and if you don't have that uh, social media and you don't get to uh, you catch up with the society and the, the people that are around actually your customers uh, you're not gonna succeed unfortunately um, so I think it's it's a it's a big challenge and what are the what are the few things that you've done as a, you know uh, as a executive in, in marketing in your restaurant to overcome these challenges well I would say the first thing that I did was definitely revamp the social media because uh, you know it used to be let me just pull out my phone take a quick picture and let me post it on Facebook and Instagram but now there's a lot of competition when it comes to photography and get graphic design and you have to have at least a very good ground and knowledge of how to use your photography and social media and even how you word your captions to make your social media compete against other restaurants and on top of that uh, I don't know if you're watching us live on Instagram you could say I have a shirt that uh, I designed we got through company we got a few hoodies hats and shirts and you know it helps with marketing you know you're walking around the street somebody sees your shirt somebody sees the logo next time they see it on social media they'll remember oh I saw somebody with that shirt or that logo I remember it and it's it's marketing and on top of that um, I'm currently building a new webs a new website for the restaurant just because the one that we have right now is created a few years ago and it's not up to date you know we, we need something that's a little more hip and a little more new and looks fresh so that when people go on it they're they're you know they have the ooh and ahs when they're going through our website so it's uh, those are a couple things and there's a lot more to come in the near future so there's one thing that that I always say is for every business there's only two options one or you spend money or you spend your time so if you have the time to do everything like social media or your website and marketing etc etc do so because you're gonna save so much money you know to, uh, to paying someone else to do it now if you don't have the time if your business is um, you know selling cars or being a restaurant or stuff like that you already have enough to do uh, that sometimes it's better just to hire someone just just to do it so it's important to know your limitations it's important to know uh, your capabilities what is that you're able to do not only because you might know how to do it but you might not have the time so you have to really assess and say all right so just be honest with you would you prefer to be selling cars or would you prefer posting things on Instagram so if you have both, if you have the time to do it and you have time to sell cars, hey, go ahead, please do so because you're gonna save so much money. But if you don't and you're really strong at selling cars, just go and sell cars, you know? Um, always, of course, try to get the, the best price for the best quality because don't, don't, don't risk your quality because of the, of the cost. But I think that's very important to, to understand, um, you know, that if you don't have the time, just spend the money or if you have the time spend the time um, so one what would be a, a recommendation that you could do for people that already have a business for years and and how can they make their 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 business um, get better how can they get more customers I think uh, the most important thing is you have to look at your your customers and your target audience that you currently have and you have to read your demographics see and their geo demographics see where they are who they are what their age is the gender and match it with the product or service that you're selling and you have to find out how you can increase your target audience and if that might mean changing your products or making new products or new services so that you can reach and grow and expand your business I think that's what's important if you're looking to expand. Um, and, and going back to our, our, our first question, um, having a new business or starting a new business, it's, it should be because you love it. And I remember the old times, I mean, it's not that I'm really old, but my parents, um, they opened a business because it was a good business. You know, so it, they were making money and everybody was doing that. You know, it's like, oh, you know, so restaurant business, you know, makes a lot of money. Let's get into that. And they would just start it and they didn't have experience on it and they just open it. Right. And that time, I believe it was good. People will 
I, you know, I don't know, I, I don't want to judge anybody, but uh, they would work really hard. Like, I remember my grandpa used to work really, really hard in his, in his job. Um, and right now, it's all about your passion. Uh, because people now, and I, I will guess in the old times, it's, it was about family. You know, I need to support my family to bring bread to the, to the table. Right now, uh, you know, if you have the ability of, of choosing what you love, do it. Do it because you won't regret it. it it's going to be easier for you to maintain or to grow a business that uh, that you love. Um, so that's uh, you know that's my my take on 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 should you open a business? Don't just open a business because you you heard somewhere or your friend told you it's a good business. Open it because you love it. Otherwise, again, you're going to get bored. But what do you think about that? I completely agree with you. You have to do your research and you have to know the risks and what you're going to put on the line. It's not just yourself. You have to think about your future, your wife or husband and your kids. It's time you're going to be risking and a lot you're going to put on the line. It's time that you're going to have away from them and it's going to hurt. Even if the rewards from your business are a lot, you have to keep that in mind that always. Because there's going to be a business where you're going to have to physically be there. And there's other businesses where you don't. But that's why you have to do your research. You have to ask around. And you have to know the market and exactly what you're putting yourself into. See, um, sometimes uh, I understand that what you would love to do, it's not easy. Sometimes what you love to do, it's, it's hard. It's, it's, you have to do a lot of sacrifices and... And stuff but you have to think outside the box um, so it's part of the stuff that I love to do it's uh, it's actually a website design I love to do website design and but not only that uh, we also have a startup etc etc for us in, in order for us to fund another company we had to do other type of work so we can actually get the money to do that so don't think um, don't don't wait for the universe to bring you the opportunity. Uh, don't wait for you know the thing to just come into your hands. It's like go and fight for it and and think outside the box because that's what's going to make your your business um, more successful. And one uh, one other thing that I would like to say is the people who already have a, a, a business for a long period of time and you are on your 50s, 60s, and you're listening to this podcast, don't be afraid of change. Because uh, I've encountered so many people, they don't know how to do things, and they just stop there because they feel like, I can't do it, I don't know how to do it. Like There's so many ways that you can have um, someone help you. It, 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 the, there's so many organizations out there that can help you to start a business, and, uh, or even to improve your business. So one of the websites that I can recommend is actually score.org. Uh, they actually help for free the people to, uh, to start a business. If you have a certain topic that you want to learn how to do it, a business, uh, a business plan, or you have problems with the taxes, or you know administration, any stuff like that, this organization helps you. There's also the, the Chamber of Commerce in New York City. Uh, um, that also they have events, they're free events, they have classes, they have courses. They're, these tools are a great opportunity for you to, um, to learn more about a new business, or if you already have a business, how can you improve that business? Um, again, guys, thank you very much for listening to us. Thank you, Ed. Um, thank you, Dion, and the system. Uh, and please, guys, uh, like our show if you, if you like it. Uh, follow us. Share it with some other people, uh, your friends, your family. We're going to be talking to so many other topics. Uh, and if you have a question or you want, us, you want to propose a topic, please let us know on the comments. Let us know on, on the podcast. You can actually find us on Anchor and iTunes and uh, so many other platforms. Um, also, you can find us on our website, novocollective.com. And when, thank you very much again for, for showing... Uh, you know, for showing up on our Instagram. Thank you very much and have a great day, guys. Take care, guys. Courses, 
there these tools are a great opportunity for you to um, to learn more about a new business or if you already have a business how can you improve that business um, again guys thank you very much for listening to us thank you Ed um, thank you Dion and the system uh, and please guys uh, like our show if you if you like it uh, follow us share it with some other people uh, your friends your family we're gonna be talking to so many other topics uh, and if you have a question or you want us you want to propose a topic please let us know on the comments let us know on on the podcast you can actually find us on anchor and iTunes and uh, so many other platforms um, also you can find us on our website novocollective.com and when thank you very much again for for showing uh, you know, for showing up on our Instagram. Thank you very much and have a great day, guys. Take care, guys.